There were countless events during World War II that were so tragic, so devastating, that it not only took the lives of millions of people and turned all the nations against one another, but it made World War II one of the most significant events of the 20th century. The conflicts arose almost as soon as the First World War ended. Germany was to pay war reparations and soon fell into tremendous debt. Over the years, Germany's anger boiled up, looking for somebody to follow and someone else to blame. So Adolf Hitler took a stand and almost immediately got everyone on his side. He began spreading his beliefs and as soon as he became the Chancellor of Germany, he put his plans into action. World War II had begun and it was the Allied forces against the Axis forces. One of the nations on the Axis was Japan, whose main purpose in the war was to gain more land. The United States fought many battles against Japan all over the Pacific Ocean, on various islands and at sea. After the war was declared over in 1945, Japan refused to surrender. Battles between Japan and the Allied forces continued until August 6, 1945. Manhattan Project was the code name for a project conducted during World War II to develop the first atomic bomb. The project was led by the United States and included participation from the United Kingdom and Canada. The project's roots lay in scientists' fears since the 1930s and Nazi Germany was also investigating nuclear weapons of its own. A new type of weapon was to be tested on Hiroshima, an atomic bomb. At approximately 8.15 a.m. Japan Standard Time, Little Boy was dropped on Hiroshima. The results of the bomb were disastrous. The 9,700 pound uranium bomb contained an equivalent power of 15 kilotons of TNT that exploded over the city, creating a giant mushroom cloud. Those who were closest to the explosion died instantly. Everyone else suffered burn and other flesh injuries. The blast wave destroyed buildings and houses almost instantly. After the explosion, all the small fires combined and formed one massive firestorm that took the lives of some of the people that survived the blast. Help failed to arrive to the victims of Hiroshima for a long time. In fact, the people of the United States had no idea what had happened until former President Harry S. Truman had announced it. Having found the atomic bomb, we have used it. We shall continue to use it until we completely destroy Japan's power to make war. Only a Japanese surrender will stop us. It is an awful responsibility which has come to us. We thank God that it has come to us instead of to our enemies. And we pray that he may guide us to use it in his ways and for his purposes. Although the bomb was able to end World War II, the damage it caused was well not worth it. The lives of thousands of people were lost, and for those who survived, changed forever. Soldiers and relief workers were sent to Hiroshima to help and the victims. Then, when they arrived in um, uh, the, the harbor near Tokyo, uh, the uh, war was then declared over, and and so he was in the uh, part of the occupation of uh, Japan and um, sent to north the sent to the northern island of Japan uh, Honshu uh, uh, first Honshu and then to Hokkaido and it was snowing and very cold uh, up there but he was there over Christmas and after the three months that he was there, they sent him back to Honshu, uh, that, uh, that's the main island of Japan, uh, about halfway up uh, to clear uh, airfields uh, from the bombing of the, of the, during the war. And he had about eight fellows working with him and um, about 300 Japanese people uh, doing the work and they, they, he ran the crane and they would load the trucks. Told approximately 200,000 people, roughly 75% of Hiroshima's population were killed 
and around 70,000 were injured as a result of the bomb. Almost 70% of the city had been destroyed instantly. Today, the effects of the explosion are virtually invisible. Hiroshima has been rebuilt with help from both the U.S. and Japanese governments, and was officially declared a city of peace. However, there is one place in the bustling metropolitan city that has been left untouched since the bombing. The Hiroshima Prefectural Industrial Promotion Hall, known as the A-Bomb Dome, is the closest surviving building to the center of the explosion. Its partially ruined frame still stands today, and is surrounded by the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, which features a museum dedicated to the nuclear attack on Hiroshima, as well as a memorial for those who perished in the single most destructive weapon ever used against humans.